Since the small block super's inception at Oswego Speedway in 1992, one of the greatest ever to strap on a helmet is still making waves in 2015. With 32 wins in the division, the most all time, Mike Bond can now add a fourth series title to his resume after making one of the biggest comebacks in series history, earning his first championship since 2011. Driving once again for 4.7's Motorsports and owner Denise Merrill, Bond began 2015 with an all-new FFB chassis and had speed right out of the box, setting quick time and opening night time trials. However, despite the speed, top main event finishes were hard to come by for Bond in the month of May, finishing outside of the top 20 in the first two races of the season. As a result, Bond set mired 15th in the standings, some 58 points out of the championship lead, heading to the month of June. Most expected after two horrendous finishes to start the year that Bond would come out on fire in the third race of the season. And he did just that, crushing the rest of the field by some 11 seconds for his first win of the year. An 11th place run on June 20th and his second win of the season on the 4th of July, another dominant performance, saw Bond miraculously rally from 15th in points to second behind Dalton Doyle after July 4th. But the next two races of the season nearly derailed Bond's championship aspirations with finishes of 24th in the Summer Championship and 18th in the Mr. Small Block Super. After rallying to second in points, Bond was now back to 10th in the standings, another 50 plus points out of the lead. Down but not out, Bond responded as he had done all season by visiting Victory Lane. In front of an exciting 65th anniversary crowd on August 8th, Bond snared his third win of the season and used it to begin another miraculous championship rally. Another podium finish on August 15th helped Bond back into the mix, putting him in prime position for the SBS Twin 20s on August 22nd. Two top five runs, including a second place effort behind his teammate Anthony Lacerdo, coupled with a disastrous day for Doyle in the Twin 20s, saw Bond manage a three-week push from 10th to 1st in the series points, heading to the Fall Championship 50 in September. Like his brother Bob, Bond stayed steady in the series finale, finishing fourth in the final order, which was just enough to secure his fourth Pathfinder Bank Small Block Supermodified Series Championship over Dave Cliff and Doyle. With three wins on the season, seven top five and top ten finishes, most will look back on Bond's dominating six heat race victories as one of the deciding factors in this year's championship run. Congratulations to the driver of the 4.7's Motorsports, FFB chassis number 74, your Pathfinder Bank Small Block Super Modified Oswego Speedway track champion, Mike Bond.